I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. With my boy Alfred, I'm Mr. Talaferro.com. Mr. Talaferro.com. Right now, I'm about to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Just to see you with your logo on your mics. From you rock with Mr. Talaferro.com. Y'all go to Mr. Talaferro.com, it's going down. My biggest gift is my voice. It allows me to speak to the culture. Now, right now, you're turning up. On MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Back with another Telefero podcast. I go by the name Alfred Telefero. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Now, this podcast is entitled Age is More Than Just a Number. I know a lot of people are asking why I decided to title this podcast this, but if you you know by the title of, 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 this, of, this, of this blog and this podcast, you'd understand why. You'd know where we're going with this. Robert Kelly, R. Kelly. Listen, when you talk R. Kelly, I want, to, I want this to be clear. Outside of Michael Jackson, the princes of the world, Beyonce's, nobody has more hits than R. Kelly. R. Kelly and Usher are slept on legends. A lot of hits, especially Robert Kelly. Hit on top of hit on top of hit. If you did a top 10 for shows, I guarantee you R. Kelly's going to be in that top 10 because you forget how many hits. And this is 25 years of music this man has been around. But we are not here to talk about how great R. Kelly's music is today. This podcast is not catering to that. This podcast, is, you know, it, it disgusts me. Discuss me. And by the way, this podcast is brought to you by About Damn Time Clothing. If you need your About Damn Time Clothing, link in my description where you can get clothes, more info on stuff that you might see me wearing in a couple of my blogs in the near future. About Damn Time Clothing. Salute to those sponsoring this podcast. Anyways, let's keep it rolling. Back to Robert Kelly. This podcast isn't to glorify the man's music. I mean, this is a podcast for something R. Kelly has been in the news for lately. Now, as you know, um, R. Kelly um, has always been infamously tied to um, pedophilia because of the infamous video where he allegedly <laughs> come pee come on a, a minor woman. Um, that is just a story. Um, and, you know, R. Kelly denied and, and, you know, his career took a hit from a standpoint of he could never be that legend because of that. And, you know, never be that legend on the on the. On a commercial standpoint, it was never accepted by a lot of people after that. Was allegedly married to Aaliyah at the age of when Aaliyah was 15. R. Kelly has always been in the news for underage women. But this story right here, it might disgust me more than the video with the minor, than marrying Aaliyah when she was only 15. This story right here is disgusting. Over the weekend, R. Kelly was seen in the Atlanta nightclub with his new girlfriend. Now, a lot of you will be like, Mr. Telefero, let the man do what, he, do what he do. He got a new girlfriend. What's the problem? Now, I could get on the fact that R. Kelly's still dressing like he's 25. Those tight-ass pants. Still dressing like he... He, he, need, to, he need to grow up. He he's always had the mature music, but his his the way he dressed and the way he acts has never has never fit the music that he's made. Anyways, back to the the task at hand here. R. Kelly has a new girlfriend, but it's not the story is not his new girlfriend. It's the age of his new girlfriend. Allegedly, R. Kelly is dating a, his new girlfriend. Is nineteen years old. Robert Kelly is 49 years old. He'll be 50 in January. He is 30 years old. More years older than this girl. 30 years between them two. 30 years. Meaning, when R. Kelly was 30, she was coming out the womb. 30 years between the two. He'll be 50 in January. Come on, R. Kelly. Come on now. What is wrong with you? 
you sick human being. What is wrong with you? You can't find anyone 30 plus. You're 49 years old. Y'all have nothing in common. Y'all have absolutely nothing in common. She doesn't even understand your music. Hey, I'm 22. I'm 22, right? I'm like the ultra R&B head. I used to really like R&B head. My mama got me into it early on. I, I really like R&B. I barely know some of R. Kelly's music in the 90s. Keep in mind, at the end of the 90s, I was six. She was born in 1997. R. Kelly had a number one hit in 1997. I just want to put these things in perspective here. 30 years between the two. 30 years between the two. And I'll be honest with you. My mom's, I don't want to give the exact age of my mom, but she's in her mid-50s. So I'm thinking here, now I don't know this for a fact, but when I was 19, my mama was around the 49, 50 year age. So R. Kelly, for all we know, might be older than this girl's mother. And you don't see anything wrong with that, Robert Kelly? You disgust me, man. And you troll us. You make music, how you bring up how age ain't nothing but a number. R. Kelly, R. Kelly and O.J. Simpson have gotten away with murder, no pun intended. Both have gotten away with... You talk about two people that black people would trade away for Justin Timberlake and Justin Bieber in a heartbeat. We would get rid of both of them. We trade them away for cash considerations. We trade, we trade Robert Kelly and O.J. Simpson away for Kwame Brown right now. Right now. We, we make that trade right damn now. I can't believe... In his sick mind, he thought it was okay to date a 19-year-old. She can't even buy alcohol, bruh. You got a problem. You sick. You nasty. No grown man should feel as though 19 is an old enough age for you to be talking to a man of his age. And I don't even know how much I want to fault the 19 year old in this. We've seen women talk to older guys in the past, especially a legend. I mean, I'm pretty sure she she tossing his money, that money around. She I heard she's a model, but he, she probably ain't never seen R. Kelly money. R. Kelly got money. Ladies and gentlemen, R. Kelly been doing this thing for a long, long time. R. Kelly got old hunnets. He got them old head hunnets. So with that being said, I'm not going to really fault her as much as I, as, as I'm not going to get on a case like that. She's young, obviously, the emphasis on she's young. So I'm not going to get on her that much. Apparently, these two, allegedly, they linked up after one of R. Kelly shows. And get this, guys. She was at the show with her mother. So, that means, so let's just put all this together here. I'm not, I can't make this stuff up here. Your mother was with you? When you met this 49-year-old man, a mother who's probably younger than R. Kelly, and she didn't see a problem in this? Who this generation is scaring me, man. And I know I'm a part of it. I get it. I get it. Yes, I am a part of this generation, but Lord have mercy. Y'all starting to scare me with some of the decisions y'all making. Get me out of this generation. I tell it to anybody. Mentally, I'm... Two generations ahead of where I'm at right now physically. Lord have mercy. So I want to know y'all inputs on this. And I want y'all to blow my comment box up. Talk to me. I'll be, in, I'll be responding to everybody. Um, two questions here. R. Kelly and this girl. 49 years old, 19 years old. Do you see the same problem that I see in it? Or am I looking at this the wrong way? Is she's grown. She is grown. She can make her own decisions. It ain't illegal. But I find it hard to believe that R. Kelly wasn't talking to this girl before she was 19 years old. It seems as if, though, he's just not bringing her into the public. Remember Tiger and Kylie Jenner. 
I want you to remember this now. Tiger had been talking to that girl before she was aged. He redshirted her <laughs> until she turned 18 last August. Remember that now. He he didn't he he denied her he denied her he denied her and as soon as she turned eighteen she was in his music video around right this time last year I'm pretty sure her birthday's in August so I'm pretty sure maybe R Kelly's doing the same thing but Tiger at, at, at the end of the day Tiger's only twenty five twenty six he's not thirty yet so I ain't even knocking that hell if you knock that Jay Z got about eleven years on Beyonce so I ain't gonna knock that I ain't gonna even get into all that but forty nine and nineteen thirty years of age when she She's born. Man, that is sick. And it, and it also is sick as somebody who's going to be a future parent. It's also sick to know that men like that exist. You know what I mean? Like, you got to understand, like, somebody who's 30 years of age. Maybe I'm looking at this wrong, but I'm like, shit. If, you, if you're able to look at a minor, if, you, if you're able to look at a 19-year-old like that at the age of 49, that's the same as being 30 looking at a child like that. That's what I'm taking from it. So I want you to give me your opinion if, if I'm overreacting or talk to me or if, about how wrong this really is. And while you're at it, while I got you, I want you to tell me what's a correct age and, and how many years apart. When do you believe it's okay for your daughter to talk to, to an older man? Is 25 to 40 okay? Is 22 to 40 okay? Is it? For me, I I can't control my daughter's life, right? I can't I can't control my daughter. I can't I can't control the decisions she's made. But I'm pretty sure if I see a man come in my household, or if I meet a man that's about the same age as me, I'm whooping his ass. I'm sorry, ain't no talking, ain't no. We ain't even getting into that conversation. Especially if he older than if if he's older than me, that's an ass whooping. I don't care how old he is. He, he's asking for an ass whooping. I'm being honest with you right now, that's an ass whooping on sight. But I want to know your opinion on this. What, what's the correct age and how many years apart is, is, is too much? Talk to me in my comment box below. This blog makes me sick. Robert Kelly, you disgust me. And I don't even know if I can listen to your music anymore after some stuff like this. And I love R. Kelly's music. One of our legends. But I cannot respect this man. And to me, it's the same thing. If I Listen, 21 Savage got the streets on fire. His music ain't for me, though. It just ain't for me. I ain't at that point in life. I ain't out here killing. I ain't killing nobody. I don't live life day to day, you know, on edge right now. I ain't got no beef out in the streets. You know, it ain't for me. His music ain't for me. Now, the, the, the songs that get to the radio, the songs that get to the club, of course I'm going to listen to them. But I can't be out here listening to 21 Savage. And that's the same thing for Robert Kelly. If, if I, you know, if I can't rock with that rapper talking about that trap shit, I can't fuck with R. Kelly's music. And that's where I'm at with it. I go by the name Alfred Telefair. You're currently tuning in to Mid Telefair TV. And I got to thank you for tuning in for this very weird podcast. It's just a little different, man. I can't respect R. Kelly out here in these streets. Talk to me in my comment box below. I go by the name Alfred Telefair. Again, this podcast brought to you by About Damn Time Clothing. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. I don't take it for granted. Salute. I'm out.